Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and this will be the final video of this tub. Um, this, as you may or may not recall, uh, was from what I called the Mega Hall. Um, 2200 cars, not to be exact, because I think it did run over that in the end. But uh, we'll crack right along with the remainder of what was in this tub. Starcar collection, Mission Impossible, surveillance van. Um, I have many of this called uh, the TV van, but this one is surveillance from 1998. So there's that one. I did rearrange the studio table. Um, I'll show you at the end. Uh, but this one, Australian Collector's Model, limited edition, uh, Model A Ford from 1982 release, and uh, Group C Racer, also known as Sorba, if I remember rightly. This is probably the most common livery. Yeah, Sorba, there you go. Oh. But it came out in a whole bunch of liveries. Made in China plastic base. It's okay to get doubles in racing because teams look the same. And this is a loose version of something I've got on the card already in this haul. Fantastic Mustang Boss, 1970 Ford Mustang Boss, metal on metal rubber tires, or are they just a different field plastic? Might be different field plastic, but nice weighty car, lovely. And those uh, Jeeps are so happy to get in the NASA Mission Control, not Mission Control, Mission Set in this weird rusty red red colour. Seem to be all too common now. They have a wheel variation. Not sure of the exact year, but I'll figure that out as I go. Um, Another long card, short card. Not something I'm into, but uh, it does add to the collection. This one, the ground grabber. 2013 and 2013, so a couple of 2014 releases. Uh, that was the loose box from the caddy. Hmm. Mountain Man, I know this is Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot is the version of the canopy on it. Not sure that why that was kept in a plastic bag because the the uh, blister has been damaged anyway. Dun, 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 1986, so 87 release. And that US card again. Moving parts. That might have been the first time they alluded to moving parts. It's probably 93. I was going to say that. Of course I was. 94 release. Snow plow. And another random sky busters. The twin blast. Fantasy, I'm sure. Ah, oh, 60th anniversary. And reach over here. The sprint racer, a modified racer, actually. From 94 release, 93 copyright. Another star car. Miami Vice. Ferrari Testarossa. Testarossa means redhead 
in Italian. This one, lovely white, but with a crazy tempo on the hood or boot, seeing as it's a mid mounted engine. Uh, 98 release. The plaintive, the star cars. Speaking of which, this sucker is very hard to find. Uh, it's from Jaws, Amity Police Boat. The police boat itself came out in the late 70s, maybe as early as 77, uh, with the two fellas on board. It was just a police boat. Now it's Amity Police in the Jaws version, 1998 release. Yeah, it's very difficult to find. So happy to get it. Um, ah, this helicopter changed everything for me when I was collecting as a kid. Uh, the first one I got, I think, was a news helicopter. And uh, I was so thrilled because the, I think it was a Sea Sprite from the 70s, um, never did it for me. This one is 1997 edition. Um, uh, clogging up my theatre room floor at the moment is every other one in this set um, of the 75 challenge. Everything was painted gold. Again, not, not my thing, but uh, it was nice to see um, a whole set. 1998 release. So, hmm. Know. around there. Moving right along. 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500. Big truck. Uh, 2014 release in blue. Star car. Now this one. You know when you just put your foot in your mouth? Um, I was at the seller's place and I was perusing and he was telling me how much he thought the collection was worth and I was nodding and smiling because I didn't think so and then I found this and I said like a kid I said oh wow I've got nine of this but I've never seen this color and the voice in the back of my head was saying shut up stupid you're talking price up um this may or may not be very common, but I've never seen it in orange. Uh, I've, I really do have every other colour. And then I saw this and it's like, well, maybe I don't. <laughs> the Dodge Challenger in orange. Wow. So uh, his eyes lit up and thought, wow, I'll get more money for this whole collection if he's this impressed. Dum-dum. 1988 release. Fast forward to the end of that story, um, as I said in another video covering this very tub. Uh, I paid a little bit more than I wanted and he got a little less than he was asking, so that's the essence of a deal, isn't it? Ferrari F50 in gold. Uh, this might be one of the ones, one of the only ones I was missing out of the 75 challenge in the other room. 1998, 97, who knows? Um, Buickless Saber. I showed a black one earlier. It's lost in the crowd. But there is a yellow one, number 10. From probably the late 80s. Yeah. And I've got this one loose already. And this one is open already. So I'll take it out. A wonderful Ford Sierra. Texaco livery, and that is in better nick than the one I already have, so excellent. I get to upgrade my Texaco Sierra. And what do I see here? I see a Premier Collection Retro 70s. I've got two of these, but they're not in good condition. I wonder how this one is. Well, the two I have are actually the original. It should flick out, yes it does. It's the driver in and out before they go speeding down the quarter mile. Much more detail than the original. 
but the original is the original. Oh. Um, if you wonder why I say nice weirdly, North, it's from Kath and Kim, and um, I watched it when it was a, a new thing on Australian TV, and then David from Twice Starcast said um, they were watching it over there in Alabama and getting a good old laugh and an education as to how Australians really talk. So, um, hi David. Um, Noise. What have we got here? Made in China plastic base. Noise. Yeah. The... Why did they do that to the axles? They're just a, a tad too long. But this Jaguar is still noise. Another one. Um, I'm yet to discover what this first shot is all about. Well, it's self-explanatory first vehicles to roll off the assembly line, but that's about as far as I know, is uh, as much as the card or the box will tell me. Ooh. Oh, I don't have that. I have many like it, but not that. Gee, that's a nice colour. It's a belly. I can get that chrome to stop blinding me. 57 or Bellier? It is 57. Hmm. Beautiful paint job. Okay, I'll get rid of the empties. What is this? Super fast. Um, I think that was 2006, wasn't it? Yeah. 2007 release of the Chevy K1500 pickup. Again, these are all open, but that's fine. That's what I do to mine anyway. Ugh. Jaguar XJ6 and that fantastic bottle green. Man. Number 57 from that year, same year as the last. A loose kind of box. Oh, that's nice. Nice powder blue Mustang. 65 Mustang GT. See what they did with those uh, wheels? They're like a, a throwback from the 60s. The original matchbox. Mystery box. Eagle Point Fire Rescue. Let's see what we have in here. It's stuffed tight, so I'm sure there's a tissue around a yes, there's a tissue around a casting. Eagle Point Fire Rescue, and this is the auxiliary truck. The spotties. Kangaroo hunting. Or oh, crime scene illumination. Yeah, auxiliary power truck. Mac. Hmm. We've got rubber wheels, tyres, and uh, floodlight unit 5 on the side. Hmm. Nothing. Oh. It's kind of open. It is open. Look at this. Wow, well, in terms of collectability, Union Jack on the roof. Huh, Mini S65. Is that Austin Cooper 3? Maybe you can read that. Oh, that's lovely. Brilliant. And we've got a double decker bus. Uh, and we've got Leaning Tower Pizza, the Cosolim. Cosolim. Uh, Sydney Opera House. London bus. 
This is about 2000, is it? Um, Wow, actually got something right. So that one there. I'll quickly go through this unless we do a fourth video. Gee whiz. Let's let's just plow through. Uh Lesney 56 Cadillac Alorado in a sort of a tomato red. Beautiful. Same year, same issue, 76 International Scout 4x4. Jaguar XK in a really nice blue. Yeah, the same year issue. Um, funnily enough, I'm collecting these. Uh, they're called haul packs in Australia. I've just called it a dirt hauler. Build it right series. Not sure about that, it's the Hero series, but anyway, 2002 release. Lots of metal there. And I have this in the regular from the 70s, but this is a Premier version. A little bit more detail, a big banger. Original is best, but that's a nice addition. And what have we here? thought this was pretty special, putting it in a sandwich bag. Volkswagen Beetle in the taxi livery. Very nice. Got to get longer arms. Or shorter tubs. The, poor, <laughs> the Porsche 959. Unpunched box. Box looks pretty nice. And uh, it's going to make me squint. Don't know. Don't know. We'll figure it out off camera. Oh, there we are. 1989, so 1990 release. Sorry about the glare. It's very neat. Ah, oh, Volkswagen Golf. 2006 VW Golf GTI to be exact, in white. I'm just waiting for the cars to tumble down uh, from the studio table, but we'll Push on Land Rover Freelander and an air transport. Just another colour there. A little bit of Miami for you. 65. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a 65. Maybe it's number 65. It, hmm, maybe this is another misprint from Mattel. They're calling it the 65 Cadillac Alante, but I can assure you that it's not a 1965. Maybe they mean it's number 65. Who knows? From about 2000 or thereabouts. Um, auto service, that's an MBX tow truck. Um, oh, another 56 Sunliner. I can't remember what the first colour I showed you was, but... This is what this one is. Oh, the first colour was not that. I think it was black. Oh, there we are. So that's a lovely variation. Perfect. Perfect. And off we go. Oh, Blaze Blitzer. On the 60th anniversary. It looks unsealed perhaps, maybe not. Commemorative edition, that's nice. Hmm. What is this? 57 Chevy convertible. Lovingly stored. Oh, check out this. Huh. Whoa. Oh, I'm liking that. Um, stack cars on top of cars. Here's the Bel Air again. 
from 1999 release. It's, uh, it's off the card, but it still gets its box. It's a little Porsche. Hmm. 71 Porsche 914. And I think there's another one in there somewhere too. Well, this is quite overwhelming. This is uh, one of many, many tubs. Um, very high gloss red, almost a chrome de red for the double decker bus, Rootmaster. As we really run into risk of avalanche here. <laughs> Beautiful blue BMW X5. Police car. I've got many, many of the mainline, but uh, this is the Mitsubishi Evo, of course. Especially Lancer Evolution X police car, 60th anniversary, and another 60th anniversary in the 68 Mustang GTCS. And number 21 of the same year, the Superlift Ford F350 Super Duty. Another one of those ones where I thought it was a newish casting, but they just go back. So far, this is a, a, a favourite of mine. Should we call it um, a third tier favourite? Is third higher than first or first higher than third? Who knows? Let's just look at it. I don't have it. Well, I didn't before today, but uh, that will happily add to my 4x4 Chevy van lineup. Hmm. Magic. Absolute magic. I'll just throw those up over the cliff so we get to stuff we haven't seen yet. This video is turning into an epic. Oh. Now I have this in white but not with those wheels. How many variants of this T-Bird are there? This is the 57 Ford T-Bird. Huh. Seems like a bottomless pit. And I'm willingly heading towards the bottom. <laughs> hey, Beamer. BMW Z3 Roadster. From about 2000. He guesses... correctly. Um, 2001 release. It's a nice green. Uh, mystery box. This is obviously something or part of some bigger packaging. The Mustang Mac 3. Super world class number 42. And that is super ugly. Ooh, oh, I don't like that. Ooh. I don't know what they did there. Ooh. Did they actually come out or is that a concept? Ooh, that's moving right along. You can't win them all, I suppose. Oh, okay. This might have been one of the few I was missing. Plymouth Hemikuda of the Superfast series. I laid them all out on the theater and floor a while back and um, we are yet to clear the place up. Oh no, I did have the pink one. I remember clearly. So that's a double, but that's okay. It's kind of cool. Oh. From the Lesney edition, 2010, this one release. That's a nice color. Hmm. Uh, 71 Chevy Camaro Z28. I'm finding new places to stack these as I go because uh, they're mounting up. The Porsche Boxster, and we know that's from 2001-2002, the 50th anniversary. And it's got the Matchbox 
swept on lid. Premier, oh, wow, wow, wow. 1970 Pontiac GTO, which is very open. Street Machines Collection. Yeah. Bit of American muscle. Hmm. Taxi. Taxi. London taxi. When they're uh, fully black like that, they're actually called blackies. 19, uh, 2007 release. Very nice. Uh, just an ambulance. That'd be an MBX edition. Hey, it's another one. Um, the oh, okay. So I was blaming uh, Mattel for screwing up the year of one of the cars, but I've just sort of haphazardly put the the number in the seventy five lineup with the name of the vehicle. So it looks like they're saying it's a fifty five flare side pickup, whereas this is number fifty five, the flare side pickup. Hmm. Got about. I've got about nine of those, but not that car. Oh, wow. As he said when he was trying to get a bargain. Um, 68 Mustang Cobra Jet. That's funky. Mm. Uh, well, it is now. <laughs> I think it was open, but an attempt to restick. Oh, wow. Such a classic shape. Wow, we're going in for a marathon here, aren't we? But we've almost finished, so let's push. 2007 Porsche 911 GTS in silver with orange spoiler and wheels. 2013. And this random, the all terrain crane. It's funny that they did that on the 60th anniversary. They did. Kind of loosey goosey. Ladder 3 Bay District. Hmm. Is Bay District San Francisco? I don't know. You probably know. I do not. It's nice. Rubber wheels, so it can make at least the premier collection. Let's put that on there. And a random boat. Raft boat. About 2000, I'm sure. What tab? Oh, Mercury Cougar. Um, I'll do another video at some point of what the theatre room looks like at the moment. Theatre room floor. But this is a real um, shout out to the original that Lesney did in either 1968 or 1969. Uh, I've got the original. Um, doesn't have the character, or well, this one doesn't have the character the original does, but it is the same colour. The original has opening doors and um, roughly those wheels, but um, the original has much thinner tyres, plastic tyres, and a unpainted metal base, but they did a pretty good job there. Nice to have both, and the box is a real... Um, Tribute to the original as well. Brilliant. I think that was um, the last one I was missing when I was trying to see if there was a, a full collection. It's another first shot. Again, I'll, I'll get to the bottom of the first shot thing. But, uh, I'm really quite ignorant to it at the moment. As the rain comes down. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Gee, we've had some rain here the last few days. We've had about, um, uh, what are we in, July? We've had July's entire expected rainfall um, in two days in Perth. 
it's a bit of a worry. The backyard's starting to get very saturated, but anyway. Porsche Boxster, 19, uh, number 56, from the 2007 release, super fast. Hmm. Not sure about the wheels. It's been uh, tempoed in with the lights. It's nice. And two more. As we go over 30 minutes, yikes. Um, 2001 for the, well, they're calling it a generator now. That's dumbed it down. That was the auxiliary power source or power module, truck. It's a Mac. They used to call it a Mac. And lucky last is a fire engine. The Dennis Sabre. Oh, what a casting to go out on. Beautiful. Huh. Fire rescue. It's plastic wheels. Yeah. That's a nice addition. Sweet. Alright, uh, I'm going to stop the camera, clean up this massive mess and um, do an end shot. So I'll see you in one second. Well, I tried. Um, the feared avalanche did take place, but uh, I had to halve what was in the tub to fit on the studio table. But here's a bit of an overview of a portion of what came out of the tub. So, uh, yeah, very happy with the new wall. Some really yeah. nice additions to the collection. Some stuff that will never be unboxed, by me at least. Um, and uh, probably some stuff that will be sooner or later. Yeah, hope you liked this series of videos. Uh, from here I'll just do uh, reviews and uh, other versions of videos like look what I found under the stairs to include all of these and everything else that I found in the 13 tubs which has now mysteriously expanded to about 16 tubs I suppose it's just uh, as we categorize things clean things up and yeah just sort things out the, the tubs the number of tubs does expand and uh, just to make sense of it all. But, uh, it's a lot to process. It's a lot to uh, get my head around. But, uh, all of these and another couple of thousand more have been added to the collection. So I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.